So there are a few exercises uh, what I find very, very useful for thinning uh, in the bifins especially. You should also consider that it works uh, very uh, good for monofin as well. A um, few words about basics just to, in case and just to remind you so when we do finning um, like this right it's gonna be like my arms I'm using my arms to show your legs actually so it's gonna be the uh, movement which should be stable and more or less equal back and forth and if uh, normally we are okay with doing the kick backwards right we have our knees so as you probably know already uh, the stretching of the back side of your legs are very important and I always suggest you to I suggest you to start with it uh, or at least include it in your stretching so the very simple one what uh, can fit into this horizontal record uh, is the one when you bend, when you grab your toes and you try to pull your feet towards yourself. And what you want to do uh, here, what you want to reach is being able to get your uh, heels off the ground. I hope you can see this tiny movement here that will help you to do your kick very uh, to make your kick very efficient in the very end of the movement when you want to kind of like slap water with your fin so that is number one and of course your feet should be very flexible that's something you can practice as well when you stretch it try to point the floor as you trying to reach it with your toes Okay, one, two, and then both together. So when you pull your toes towards you, you're getting your heels off the floor. Okay, then you can do some little exercise. And Akira will help me with that. You can use any kind of pillow or anything. You put it beneath your... Uh, what's that? Knees. Uh, below your knees so to have them a little bit lifted up and that's next what's going to happen you want to learn to do this movement very uh, like straight and kind of if you hit something one by one and then you just do it straight so any kind of pillow or my poor dog <laughs> in this case something that will help you to, um, to train your legs, your quadriceps for this movement, for this move, right? So your legs can be very straight and toes pointing forward. When you, once you have a fin very long at your feet, uh, that this move will help to kick the water and will add about like, I'm just, shooting here maybe 20% of efficiency and that's the kick so when you move with your leg you want to have it as let's say if you're whipping something right you're not just moving back and forward you want to do like really uh, straight and strong kick of the water so that's what's happening here that's the easy one um, let's say that's the basic once you're done with this I'm sorry I will turn myself to you now then the next exercise I propose you is this one. Okay. So that was something for your front kick and now the move for your back kick. So when you're moving by fence with the back side, like behind you, uh, the common, let's say, mistake is that uh, we're trying to move but because the fin gets the resistance of water our body trying to figure out the easier way to do it and we start to move it our leg a little bit on the side like more or less depending on how good you are with your like controlling your hips so something you should uh, keep in mind when you're fitting is that your hips 
should stay straight more or less. Uh, some rotation is uh, okay, shouldn't, but it shouldn't be like all of your torso one side. If your shoulder goes forward, you should little comp like compensate it a little bit with your hip. Uh, however, something that will help you to get ad uh, advanced with this is this little uh, exercise for coordination. It doesn't take much to practice. It's uh, something you can do wherever, whenever, even uh, if you're like, I don't know, waiting for something or you do a kitchen uh, stuff, cooking, that happens to me sometimes. Um, place your feet on a width of about like half a meter, not too wide, and your uh, body weight goes uh, in the middle, like down to the ground. Your feet should be parallel to each other. Uh, good if you do it next to some wall, so you can have a relevance that you're moving back and forward, and you'll be moving this way. You want to go forward and then go backward. Backwards. That's basically the whole exercise. It's not very hard, but it's for you to uh, gain the awareness of the movement and how it should be done. If you do it right, you will be pushing your body with your feet, not moving your legs after your body. So I'm standing straight and I start to point my foot with my foot to the floor. My gluteus get involved, my um, bicep uh, of the hip gets involved, and I can also feel some tension in, um, in the calves, okay? So you do this exercise, let's say you repeat it 10 times, Go remember going back and forth, like straight, right? Not to the side or here, do not rotate your hips, try to get yourself very straight. You do 10 moves for one side, then you switch, and you do 10 moves for the other side, right? Get, get your feet under control, nice. You all, uh, this exercise also will help you to make your ankles a bit stronger, and of course, for all that to happen, you're gonna be, you need to be very conscious about what you're doing. So be present and feel the body parts that are involved, okay? The next set is a little bit like a uh, ballet. <laughs> so get yourself a chair or something, or maybe you don't even need any, uh, anything to hold on, but I suggest it. Point your foot, uh, point your leg, uh, to the floor with the toe, like uh, get it on the tip, tip toes, and then involving the same group of muscle, a gluteus, uh, bicep of the hip, and uh, calf. Try to rise your leg straight, not like this, but straight behind you, and do not do this, right? So your chest stays, stays straight and you do a few repetitions, let's say 10. Start with 10 and then you see how it feels. One and another. Okay, once you're done with that, uh, in the end of the workout, don't forget to stretch your muscles. Like this is one of my favorites when you just bend and doing this. So my legs are straight, my knees are straight, and I'm pushing my hips. Like if you have a tail, ima imagine that you have a tail and somebody pulls your tail upwards. And one more thing, uh, one of my favorite is for your uh, feet, for flexibility of your ankles. And I believe it's crucial both for bifins and monofin. Uh, I'll pull it down a little bit so you can see it. Um, so your hips should be 
on your on your heels it's a kind of like solid thing all together your arms going uh, on the side of your hips and then you want to rise your knees as close to your chest as it is possible at the same time your heels should stay together as much as you can for now and then with the exercising uh, you'll get better and you'll feel the stretch it should be mostly in this area okay so avoid standing on your toes like this your uh, front side of the calf should be straight should be all together I hope you'll find it uh, useful. Try uh, to exercise film and uh, first of all, have a look at yourself from the side. And then if you want, if you feel like it, please text me on my Instagram or through uh, Malchanos, through Maria Anto, you can reach me out and I'll be happy to give you some advices. See you.